So this is the special issue I would like to point into. For example, volume 20, special issue 7 of 2024. Okay, we find too many articles. Hello, Christiana channel members, viewers and subscribers. Very good day to you all. So once again, I'm really happy to meet you all. This time with a very genuine review about a very uh, famous journal that has been circulating in the conferences through the agents, through the backdoor even. The name of the journal is Nanotechnology Perceptions. So in this video, we'll try to find out whether this journal is really indexed in the Scopus database, which quartile it falls under, whether it is really indexed in the Web of Science database, ABDC quality list, as well as UGC care group 1 or B group 2 list. We'll also try to clarify in this video whether this journal might be removed from the Scopus database very soon. We'll try to find out its article processing charges and the time they take from submission till the publication till the indexing of the article in the Scopus database. While we have identified that there are no clone websites or maybe fake websites associated with this particular journal. So without wasting much of our time, let us go straight into the genuine review of nanotechnology perceptions. So this is the journal we are talking about. So we are searching for nanotechnology perceptions. We are getting the search result. So here we find one particular website nano-ntp.com. Okay, then we have Sai Imago Journal Rank discussing about this journal. Scopus has discussed about this journal. Also, we have other uh, platforms, other indexing databases discussing about this particular journal. So we'll go with the first website. Uh, this is the only website that is available and there are no cloned or maybe fake websites available. Okay, so this is nano-ntb.com. So in the home page, they have given the ISSN number. Okay, so they have given uh, the subject area categories even and they have mentioned that they are publishing like three times within a year, like a March, July and November. Okay, so the publisher uh, name is also mentioned over here. So for any queries, you can contact this particular email ID and here as you see that this journal comes under Q4 quartile under the contents matter physics category. So basically you have to register for your account, then log into your account, then submit your paper. Okay. So when you browse through the editorial team section, okay, we can understand that the editor in chief is uh, Professor Jesus D. Silva. The details have been mentioned. Of course, Scopus ID has been mentioned. It is a very good sign. But as you browse through the editorial team members, we can see internationalism in the members, but uh, their institutional email ID could have been mentioned. About the article processing charges, they have given like 700 US dollars, which is actually 650 dollars excluding taxes and including taxes, it is 700 dollars or approximately 56,000 in Indian rupees. But through the backdoor, through the agents, through the associations, they are collecting an amount of 35,000 in Indian rupees. And the time they take uh, from submission till publication is a maximum of five months. While if you try to submit your paper through the special issue, then things might be a little more faster. Maybe they will publish your paper within a maximum of three till four months. So this is the recent issue that has been published with this particular journal. So we see, Volume 21, issue number 1, 2025. We are right now in August 2024. Okay. So here you see like uh, articles, like uh, four articles being already published. And you should also note that all these four articles have been indexed in the Scopus database. Normally, you do not see 2025 articles being published in 2024. Okay. So here you see 2024. There has been too many special issues, like uh, approximately like seven special issues. Okay. Also, they have three regular issues. So, as you see, 2024 is not yet over. Three issues, three regular issues, seven special issues. They have also gone into 2025 issue number one. So, this is the special issue I would like to point into. For example, volume 20 special issue seven of 2024. Okay, we find too many articles. And as you can see, all of them are Indian author articles. Let me uh, point you one interesting fact. Okay. I am searching for one name, Titus. So it is Titus Lalith Anthony. Okay. So I'm searching for this one. See, this particular author has contributed five articles in this particular issue. Okay. In this particular special issue. This is actually not a very good sign for a Scopus Index Journal. 
so as you can see even in ieee explore they are following the standards but for a scopus index journal like a one particular author contributing these many articles and that too within one particular issue is strictly prohibited and we do not find internationalism in the contributed articles of this particular special issue the only thing they have somehow uh, been passing through is that because with uh, regards to each of the issues we find more of the internationalism okay so that is the reason uh, maybe that uh, the scopus uh, did not take any action against this particular journal and with regards to special issues we find too many articles being published but with regards to regular issue we find very less articles being published and that too they have maintained a very good internationalism in the papers so basically you have to submit your paper in ms word format open office or maybe rich text rtf uh, format okay so you have to follow a uh, 12 point uh, font single spaced okay so wherever possible you can employ italics and you should include your orchid id this is very very must okay and here they have given uh, the copyright uh, notice as well okay so you can go through them and as you know like uh, you can take a plagiarism report maybe you can follow authenticate or maybe turn it in make sure it is less than 10 percentage and you can submit the papers when you browse through the contact section okay so here they have given the contact email id it is a gmail id maybe they could have displayed a uh, institutional email id they have not done so but they have given a whatsapp contact and a support contact email id so about this particular uh, journal website we have some information but as you can see with the special issues we have too many articles being published but surprisingly all of the articles have been indexed in the scopus database anyway we will cross check them in the sci imago journal rank website okay so sci imago jr.com you are searching for nanotechnology perceptions you are getting the search result country is switzerland okay so here it falls under the domain subject area category of engineering material science physics and astronomy okay so publisher information has been mentioned h index is 10 same isn number okay so here when we click on home page and how to publish in this journal it is exactly pointing to the website what we reviewed so according to sci imago journal rank whatever website we reviewed is the original and only website that is available and you see the scope of this particular journal and this journal comes under q4 quarter okay anyway we will cross check them okay so down you can see the two year three year and five year statistics of this particular journal many have asked whether there is any cloned or maybe fake website which is actually available and also the publication uh, cost also they have asked okay as i told you like in the website they have uh, quoted like uh, 700 dollars or approximately 56,000 in indian rupees but through the back door they are charging like 35,000 maximum or approximately between like 400 till 450 dollar we'll anyway uh, check this information in the scopus website so in scopus.com source is being selected okay in the title you search for nanotechnology perceptions okay so here the years show 2008 till 2025 okay still uh, it brings us a feeling maybe whether it is going to be removed in 2025 anyway we will check them okay same publisher information same isn number okay we do not have a home page section to cross check okay but in scopus content coverage we see in 2025 four documents being indexed already four documents got published and those four documents got indexed 2024 including the special issue we have 324 documents being published and all of them got indexed but as you scroll down you see in each of the years only approximately like a 20 odd documents being published and getting indexed it is actually a very good sign but why they published too many articles during 2024 but still it got indexed about the site score rank and trend it falls in the ninth percentile ninth percentile is actually very very low okay so 0 to 25 uh, 9 comes into so this journal comes under q4 quartile so whatever information given in the sci imago journal rank has been found to be correct about how long will this journal remain in the scopus database still we cannot decide upon this journal but given the fact that 2024 we have 324 odd documents being published so let us take in the case 2025 if they are not leaving into any special issue maybe they will continue okay so let us take in the case if they are giving it to a special issue and maybe we find 
only uh, articles of one particular uh, country being published in this journal then this journal will face a serious problem again reminding you that uh, if uh, complaints uh, arise because of this particular journal like uh, publishing too many articles on one particular uh, special issue like uh, some authors try to complain and still uh, they are in the verge of removal like uh, they are only in the ninth percentile so maybe scopus might take action maybe if you are planning to submit your research paper to this particular journal please cross check them with our detailed statistics and you take a decision as with regards to mjl.clarivate.com or maybe web of science database we try to search for this particular journal we are not getting the exact search result so which means that this journal is not indexed in the web of science database with the australian business teams council journalist okay we are searching for nanotechnology perceptions we are pressing enter we are not getting the search result which means that this journal is not indexed in the abdc quality list coming to the ugc care website we have group one group two since this journal is currently indexed in the scopus source list it automatically comes under ugc care list group two however we have one link list of clone journals okay so when you go through this particular link we search for nanotechnology perceptions we are not getting any result which means that there is no cloned or maybe fake website with this particular journal so as you see that this journal is not indexed in the web of science database not indexed in the abdc quality list but since it comes under quartile 4 of scopus it is automatically coming under ugc care group 2 so suppose let us take in the case if you are in a process to submit your paper directly or maybe through some conference through some agents through the back door through the associations please think uh, two or maybe three times because 2024 we have too many articles being published but luckily all of them got indexed while you cannot expect the same thing to happen but anyhow they are maintaining some internationalism in the regular issue papers so far it is going so good in the quartile 4 but we really don't know how long will this journal remain in the scopus database in the coming months so if you have any clarifications questions queries positive or maybe negative experience with this particular journal please share them in the comment section So I'm sure you would have benefited a lot out of this useful genuine review. So see you then in another interesting review of a Scopus Web of Science SCI, ISI, UGC Care Group 1 or maybe Group 2 journalist as well. Till then, collaboration.